Skill for skill. Yep, skill seal. Ah, uh, you suck. Oh no. Damn it! I didn't even die to anything like real that time. Why did our physical attacks do so much damage? I wish my caster did physical damage like that. Jeez. Uh, like, I need to set this up immediately. Let's start with that. Like, the big problem is the inability to really guard against her skills because there's always a risk. Like, I have to match skill for skill to avoid getting stunned. But again, Gil doesn't have a shield skill like like Archer or Caster. And that's really hurting me, because I really depend on those against skill-heavy enemies. I still don't know her patterns either, because she only gives me two. I don't know. You know what? I have skills I can use. So... Let's try that. No paralysis. Can I at least get a stun? No. I'm not allowed to get anything, apparently. I was gonna say, is she not gonna use a skill at any point in time? Any time here? But she is. And of course, she used Fiery Heaven when I decided to use Break. Nope. Shock first. don't know what to do. Throw Kishar back on. Try and survive. Hope for the best. That's a good stun. Still no paralysis. But I avoid whatever she's gonna do there. She's defending, that's fine. It's a free move. Perfect. Perfect turn. Amazing. Okay. Health is back up. I didn't take any damage that time around. Immediate shock. Try that again. He's gonna try and skill seal me, and I really have no countermeasure for it. Do I have an item that can prevent skill seal? Or restore? Uh... Suck at a special lunch. It kind of sucks having to use that, but if it really comes down to it, I'll have to. Uh, oh, I gotta pop Dunkina back up. And then... Throw loose the winds, just for a little more damage. Because I gotta move this whole thing along. I need to do more damage. Still no paralysis. The hell are these proc rates? Oh, not Bestial Sky. This is gonna hurt a lot. And there's the skill seal. Void cleft. I'm probably not guarding that. Yep. You know what's really stupid? Kishar only took away 200 damage. That's nothing. Because that did 3,000 damage to me before. So, Kishar is worthless. Now that I'm seeing this. So don't even bother with Kishar anymore. That's not gonna be... Chaos Heaven, right? So, 
Okay, that's good. That's Fridge in Heaven. I'm guarding it. I'm good. Perfect. It's clean. Seriously, paralysis proc where? There's no way these rates are that low, Al. Like, I'm literally firing it off every turn, and I haven't gotten one in, like, so many turns. Try that. Still no paralysis. Are you kidding me? She has divinity, you know that? It should work against her. I'll take the extra. Got a stun. Perfect. Hit her again. Of course she did break there. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, the problem is we still haven't hit phase 2 yet. Should I use Ninurta? But I'm using mostly Enkidu, which is magic based. I mean, my normal attacks do more. Screw it, I'll throw it in an to Ash Oil. Strength buff can't be that bad, right? Excellent stun. No paralysis again. Alright, strength boosted. Hit me a little bit. It's fine. That's not fine. Alright. Listen, I'm trying. I'm kidding that I'll go back up. He's gonna try and skill seal me. And if the skill seal does go off, then my skill is just gonna sit unrelated. Ow. Bestial Sky, uh... Come on. Yep, there's Void Clef. I think I guarded this? Good, because that hurts a lot. Ow. Okay. Okay, that's 200 more damage with physical attacks. That's not bad. Still not able to... She's not using a Noble Phantasm yet, and I'm already in such poor condition. This does not bode well. I have no idea what to do here. Hope for the best. And just hope to wait up the skill seal. Huh, that worked. Nice crit. That's bad. I blocked it. We're good. That's good. That's fine. I'm still skill sealed. She's also going to do her thing. I'm no longer skill sealed. What are the chances this will work? What are the chances? Uh, I'm going to throw on Kishar anyway. I know it's not huge, but I'm gonna throw it on. Chains of Heaven. This will attempt to stun me. I'll hit. Uh, this will be Bestial Sky. And then just attempt to guard that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get this done. It was worth a shot, though. Now, if I survive this turn, crossing my fingers here, taking, taking a risk, I'm gonna elixir up. Probably should have just spent all of my MP, because I'm gonna elixir up next turn if I survive. <laughs>
But maybe the 200 damage reduction of Kishar will help me out here. Right? Maybe? But it really seems to only be 200, which is not a lot. Especially when she's t dishing out 1500s. Now Paralysis decides to kick in. Will it kick in this turn? Because that'd be amazing. Did it just kick in? Maybe we'll get a stun too. Nah. Okay, I am guarding, so this should actually survive. You know what? I did spend like all my MP here, so we're good. All of that. Fire Heaven? I'm tanking it. It's not bad. Still no stun. Bridget Heaven. Am I doing an attack there? No, I'm guarding. Good. Oh, that sucks. Do not have regen up. Oh, I see that down there. I don't like that. There's only something I can do. I'll rip pop Kishar just for funsies. Funsies. I may end up spending another elixir next turn if this goes ooh, paralysis. If this goes super poorly and I survive. So I'm just gonna spend all my MP and attempt to survive. And if I get a stun off or two, then it's good too. Yeah, I didn't think so. Bestial Sky. The skill seal's a problem. The skill seal's a problem, because now I can't do anything in the last turn. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about Bestial Sky because I got uh, kicked out of it. But, guarded that. That's good stuff. I can throw the regen on there. And just hope for the best. You know what? I'll take it. I didn't guard Void Cleft, did I? Oh, I did! Good job, me! Ah, uh, that's a problem. But I'm alive. Now I'm gonna elixir up. You are weak. I say as I get absolutely wrecked. Damn, Kina's not up right now. It'll be back. Also, Elixir. Uh, I'm doing a skill first, so I'm just gonna take that damage. That's workable. No paralysis. Wait, is she gonna Noble Phantasm again? Can't she do that? Like, is this a vaguely timed battle? I'm not guarding that, am I? Oh, I am. Didn't get stunned. Miracle. She's guarding here, I know that. Good. <gasps> it's time. This one was the hard fought. This one, I am absolutely going to cheat through here and immediately win. Because this one was tough. This was a hard battle. And now, it's over.
Oh, don't you dare. You can't stun me. I'm not guarding. But I'm still alive. It's time to put an end to this. My caster was never this strong. Granted, I guess peace is that much better of a master. But I have Gilgamesh. So maybe I'm just better. Or maybe Gilgamesh is just that much stronger. This is why he's placing the band tier in the in the Moon Cell Grill War. But it's fine. It's not like we're actually in the tournament, so I'll use band characters all I want. Oh. Like, after leveling up, one cycle Darcher. Ran into Lancer, one cycle. Caster? Fight of my life. Jeez. All the respect to you, Caster. Love you. I would have played as you, but listen, I gotta try Gilgamesh. He's new. But otherwise, I would have played you first. But, man! What a rough fight. I do not look forward to doing that with Caster herself. Although, I wonder if I'll be able to, you know, counter spell spam. Should be interesting. Or terrifying. One of the two. Having access to, uh... A fought at cave though will be very helpful when she decides to hit me with any spell because it just gives me more MP back and guards against the spell. No level 52, huh? Gil, make sure you wash your eyes, alright? とどめを刺される前に初めに戻れたらしい。申し訳ないが、私はここで退場だ。空間の乱れも修復されたようだし、夢の対決は私で終わりのようだね。Sounds good to me. Don't worry, I'll defeat you with your Buddha. Yes? なんと申しましょうか。あなた様には映画たいものを感じます。今の私が言えることではありませんが、どうかお気をつけて。ご検討。I mean, you could just come over here and take care of me. I'll allow it. I mean, he is up there. まあ、それはそれとして。弱者ども蹂躙するのも王の務め。宝も閉まってばかりでは曇るからな。ザッシュ。お前もなかなかに検討したな。真実。俺のマスターとして認めてやってもよいぞ。You didn't before? He still hasn't? Still, the small Gilgamesh is making towards me is more gentle than usual. Yep, the reason I got this far is because he's been by my side. For sure. My strength comes entirely from being with him. Though, I don't know what lies in store for me. But for now, I'll bask in today's victory. Success! What's this celestial bell? Is this the full heal? Revives a servant a single time. Oh, that's new! Right, I already have the, uh, full heal, yeah? Well, actually, I don't. Or is this it? Recover. Doesn't say full heal, but I think that's what he used. Maybe I should have used it. The, uh, regen strats didn't help out so much when the damage was too high to handle. Like, that. there lies the difference between 
big heal strats and regen strats. When the damage is too high for the regen to actually keep up, like regen just, I can't ever cast it because I need health. I can't survive if regen can't keep up. So that battle definitely had a different flavor to it. But I made it out in the end with some crazy perseverance and a lot of item use. Normally I'm the type that uh, likes to keep all my, you know, elixirs. But, A, I gotta fight the urge to hoard those things because, I mean, they're useful. B, that fight pushed me to the limit where I actually did not care that I was spending those elixirs. I needed to survive. I needed to heal everything. Kind of weird that the elixirs don't um, heal elements, though. Like, they would be the strongest. So, you know, maybe not. But at the same time, I didn't even have, like, ten of them. I had seven or so? No, I think I had eight. Still, like... <laughs> that skill seal is painful. Gil already relies heavily on his skills in the first place because he has to go full offense. And the fact that I wasn't getting those paralyzer or stuns was... It was not going well for me. Once they started coming in, though, that's when it's like, okay, okay, now it's time to turn it around. But, with those battles out of the way, Sakura, it's time. I gave you enough time to think of a cool parting word, right? So, let's go. I stand before the final wall. Beyond this is the Moon Cell's core. That's where BB awaits us, where we'll finish our fight. From an observation installation, the core transformed into a management installation. No longer a god's brain, but a devil's brain. Up ahead is a present that has yet to occur. If we defeat BB and return the moon cell to normal, the future outside will become one where humanity's destruction will be postponed rather than decided. I like that's postponed though. Like humanity is on a decline that we cannot recover from. But it doesn't have to happen tomorrow, it just has to happen later. But if BB defeats us, then it's all over. All elements of the far side of the moon that could hope to stop BB will be extinguished. That instant will confirm a future where in seven days, humanity will fall to ruin. It will then become the immutable truth. So let's have one last check. The reason why I'm here, heading into these depths is... I'm not ready yet, for the correct future. I think if I make all the right choices uh, for the New Game Plus route, the third option will show up here. But I have not completed those conditions. So we're going to fight for the correct future. For the correct future. There are also other reasons, but this is the most important. さすがに注水器では映像は拾えないけど、位置関係は把握できるわ。桜、あとはあなたに任せていいのよね。あの壁、解除してちょうだい。はい、もちろんです。皆さんは定時された条件をクリアしました。あとは私が実行するだけです。
she's blowing up her own mind to open the way. This means her mind will be ripped apart, won't it? ロイヨネ。その先には光さえ通らないわ。全ての景気が安納を示している。おそらくそこからは不可逆の空間よ。中枢への一方通行。入った場最後吸い込まれるわよ。ある意味その先は観測宇宙の法則に近いようです。時間
だって私の記憶では次の対戦相手はおおやっぱりライもそうなんだじゃあこれは確定なのねやりづらくなっちゃうなそれはどうでしょうムーンセルが通常に戻った場合月の裏側での出来事はなかったことになりますこうして私たちが出会い過ごし笑い合ったことも全て起きえたかもしれない可能性の一つとして忘れ去られると推測されますそっか元から一夜の夢表の未来が守られた瞬間裏での出来事はきれいさっぱりなくなるのね Is that how you can have Fate Extra exist and simply continue to exist despite all this happening? This is all happening in a single instant in between time? Yes. <laughs> Indeed. And then the light goes out. And now, I shall observe. Is that you twice? The old school building's defenses are gone. The enveloping bubble that、uh, admin AI S601 was maintaining. Around the school building is gone. And all resources used to materialize the old school building have been transferred to my servant. The shelter facility that Admin AI S602 had performed、uh, an illegal salvage and restoration of, the old school building, has been engulfed in an imaginary number vortex. Karma. Ah, so Sakura is S61, but BB is S62. All that remained were a few real numbers. A gesture of goodwill left by Rin Tosaka, Rani 8, and Admin S6,、uh, AI S601. Oh, right. <laughs> Jinako's around. The janitor's closet Jinako Karigiri is in. Yeah, what are you going to do about this? She kind of did, though. Jinako Karigiri is justified in her lament. In the face of impending doom, her immediate thoughts were fixated on her fears. Although, since I've been severed from the concept of physical death, this is something I can no longer understand. ま
って今まで何もしてこなかったお父さんとお母さんが死んじゃった時も学校に行かなくなった時もマスターになった後も Hey, come on, didn't you promise to be a little bit better? This is what Jinako Karigiri chooses. This is what Jinako Karigiri desires. This is what Jinaki, Jinako Karigiri's fate is. My simulation produced the same result. However, However, the golden servant declares that she's mistaken. Jinako. そ、そんなの。そんな言い方卑怯だよ。私だってこんなところにいたくない。Correct. There is no do over for her. Jinako Karigiri is a master. Upon returning to the near side, her punishment for abandoning the Holy Grail War awaits. Fearing death, all she can do is stay in this space, this moment before her death. いや、それも違う。うん。なんと説明すればいいのか、俺には難しいのだが。俺の力では、お前を聖杯戦争の優勝者にまでは押し上げられない。だが、やり直しならできる。はカーナ、what you you can do that? That's impossible. What is this servant talking about? Karna-san,何言ってるっすか? You mean your golden armor that you normally wear? Yeah, he hasn't had it at all the whole time in the far side. Like, I know he's supposed to have it. We even got a codex entry for that, but he hasn't been wearing it. Also, he needs to discard it before he uses Vasavi Shakti, but he could use it basically immediately. <laughs> He's like, even I'm a little mad that you straight up didn't notice this whole time. You're still, like, heavily wounded, huh? I guess we did beat you down pretty hard, and you didn't have your armor. <laughs> it's been that bad? I mean, I kind of want to say sorry, but you did oppose us, and we did fight back with everything we had. <laughs> yeah, because it would have reduced damage severely and definitely outpaced us. 
You can do that? <gasps> he has a type advantage. That makes a lot of sense. You know, you probably could have brought this up at any time before the very end, Karna. This seems like a really crucial point that could have avoided her entire labyrinth. Could you try and be a bit more helpful? Such a thing isn't... No, it does make sense. Detecting the school building's destruction, the moon cell found Jinako Karigiri there, so it received and classified her as a lost item. She may still be alive. The moon cell won't punish her. So, once the Holy Grail War she participated in ends, her soul will be sent back to Earth. This is the reason why Jinako Kadigiri showed up as an unknown number to admin AI S601 and me. She was a spectator of the Holy Grail War from the very beginning, the first the Moon Cell has ever had. Seriously! It's kind of big info. Listen, you're getting a super huge second chance. Don't waste it, Jinako. Do something. Do everything. As expected of the hero of charity. You're so cool, Karna. I mean, in the first place, he's a servant, so it's not like he can leave. On the other hand, in order to free you, he probably had to expend everything else he had left. He did say he was on the verge of death since the fight. And it's been a while since that fight, so he probably didn't have much left to go with in the first place. Ah. Also that. Also Oh, what virtue his words carry. Even as I am now, I can tell that this servant's words bear a formidable will behind them. He says this not so that he'll be thanked, or that he's forced to. This is the power his words possess. Utterly unblemished words, parted by a creature who simply believes this is the right thing to do. I mean, it's literally what he does. Ha. 
I didn't choose to die to save you. I simply happened to die afterwards. That's the thing though. It's because he did what he decided to do. It was his choice and he knows it. That he won't have any regrets. I agree with what Jinako Karigiri is yelling about. Reason being, she's unworthy. Harna has no reason to do this. Parity is prerequisite in salvation. Those to be saved must be worthy of being saved. Yeah, but that's like... cold logic. Harna doesn't really run on that. Otherwise, there's no benefit, meaning, to offering help. I was the same way as her before. I'm the same way now. There's no cause or benefit to helping Jinako Karigiri. She has no outstanding talent. She hasn't performed any good deeds worthy of praise. That's why there's no reason for Karna, a hero, to save her. On the contrary, Karna as a hero doesn't need a reason. This is how intelligence on this planet reasons. Without being special, no one will save me, save you. It was dreadful to hear him speak so from his heart. For I know, and Jinako Karigiri knows, just how legendary a hero this servant is. Even the king of the gods, Indra, recognized this hero of charity, an ill-fated warrior targeted by schemes to label him as evil, who had everything taken from him, yet despite it all, never once bore hatred towards people or the world. So what is this hero's replicant saying? I'm not special. Then just who is this nobody I was thinking? Still think is special. Ah, the pittance of space left is collapsing. The world this girl, belie this girl believed in is collapsing. She had cried out. There's no reason to save me. I'm not special in any way whatsoever, so... Chinako Karigiri is correct. That's what this world is all about. It's the minimum requirement to survive here. 
Life and Death Here is about competition, support, deception, mutual hatred, creation, mending, ruin, waste, and self-destruction. She embodies every aspect of someone who turned her back on all that. Worthless and unfamiliar with being someone special, she couldn't bear to keep on living. I had thought that she couldn't bear it. And yet... カルナは私を無論だ。特別ではない君を命ある限り俺は庇護し続ける。ジノ。it's just who he is. It's what he does. And if anything, instead of saying too much, I think he said exactly the perfect amount. Almost too perfect. So, so うん、分かってる。あなたは私を甘やかしているんじゃない。あなたは私を信じているんだね。私の成功とか人生とかそんな小さな話じゃなくてうまく言えないけどあなたは That's right. That man believes in her. Regardless if someone is ordinary or pitiful, he believes in the nature that dwells within a person. Even if it never ends up blossoming, he firmly believes that this seed is precious. なんとかなっとくしたよ。だからもう行って、カルナ。今まで、ありがとう。聞き止めちゃってごめんね。お願い。今も校舎で震えている私を。承知した。少々手荒くなるな。そこは多めに見てやってくれ。See true. <laughs> Even he's just like, oh man, I screwed up. さ、参加 <laughs> I know you will. 
言い残したことがあったらいいっすよそうだな口にするまでもないことだがジナコがそう言うのなら言葉にしよう生きるがいいマスター必ず誰かが誰でもないお前を待って Look at this man spreading wings of light to fly off to the future. What an absolute hero. An absolute god. Flying on the wings of sunlight. So he ascends to the lunar ocean. He's off to save Junako Kaidagiri from the imaginary number ocean as she despairs from its collapse. He's a glitter across this dark ocean that's breaking apart. He soars through the darkness like a golden bird. Ah, <sighs> やっぱりものすごい外れを引いた。あんたは、僕には過ぎたサーバントだったっすよ。うん。さよなら、カルナさん。信じられても重みが増えるだけだけど、今さら思うのは変わらないし。たとえ、何もできなくても。何かをするって自由だけは、私にも残っているよね。There we go. That's better. To step in the right direction. Good luck out there, Junako. I know you got this. And so, this area was completely engulfed in imaginary numbers. I'll be off to the next area to blot out the remaining cognition spaces. To erase all records and impressions of what I witnessed here. What I saw is of no use to me now. It's something my past self dreamt. I won't transfer it to any libraries. I won't let the moon cell have it. I will instead provide an account of the end result. With the conclusion of the Holy Grail War, Junako Kadagiri was totally destroyed. The moon cell has forever lost its chance to rewrite this fact. I guess I'll save. Well then, I am not sure what else awaits us aside from BB. But we are most definitely in the final phase. Everyone's faded out, going back to where they came from. And all that's left is for me. To write the course of history before it can be decided. We'll see what I can do.